Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chad here with Greenlight Shooting, and welcome to this new vlog. So, this is the first vlog we're doing from the new house. That's right, baby. We're in the new house. We've got all moved in for the most part. Uh, check out my new office here. This thing is awesome. So, you come in, I've got my computer station all set up, my, my little music corner. Trisha just actually got me that uh, digital piano yesterday, so that thing is awesome. Thank you so much to her for just being the greatest person alive. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, let's just dive into this vlog here. So, a few weeks ago, I had a reader or a viewer send me an email uh, you know asking my thoughts on the Glock 17 versus Glock 22 I guess it was a first gun for him he said that you know he, he went through a bunch of options and he had it narrowed down he either wanted the Glock 17 or the Glock 22 um, so you know I asked him what are you gonna be using this gun for and he said uh, you know at first it's gonna be a range gun uh, just a practice gun at home gun kind of thing and eventually he wanted to turn it into a concealed carry gun so uh, I think that's a pretty common uh, answer to that question. And uh, obviously I kind of brought up the, the full size handgun thing, um, but he said he's more than comfortable carrying that size handgun. So more power to him there. Um, but yeah, so we just kind of wanted to know my thoughts on the two. Now, obviously the nine millimeter and, and 40, I guess I should say that for you guys that don't know, uh, the, the Glock 17 and the Glock 22 are Glock's full size handguns. Uh, the 17 is chambered in nine millimeter and the 22 is chambered in 40. Um, but the, the argument between 9mm and 40 is gigantic. That thing could go on forever, you know? So I'm not going to try and, uh, and really dive into that in this video. As you guys know in the vlogs, I kind of like to keep it a little more informal and just kind of like a conversation. So I'm not going to bring up ballistic gel and show you some charts and stuff like that. I just kind of want to just talk to you a little bit about it. Um, essentially what I wrote him back in that email was just a quick and dirty uh, pros and cons list. So that's what I'm going to give to you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll just dive into it here. So first up on the Glock 17, Glock's full size 9mm handgun. Um, pros wise is first and foremost, I think, is uh, there's less recoil. There's less felt recoil with this. Um, it's just the, the nature of the 9mm versus the 40. It's easier to shoot, especially for a new shooter. If this is your first handgun or whatever, um, I think it's going to be a lot easier to shoot. You're going to have more enjoyment out of it. Um, and you're just going to get a little bit better and a little more comfortable with it quicker. So yeah, moving on, I guess another pro here is uh, the ammunition is just cheaper. 9mm is just a little bit cheaper than 40, uh, at least right now. And then the last pro is, uh, you know, your magazine size. So you're getting 17 plus 1, I think, in a Glock 17, um, a little bit more than you would in the 40. So cons side is, uh, I think the only big thing I can think of with the Glock 17 is you're giving up a little bit of, of that knockdown power, right? So there's no denying that the 40 just has has more energy. So it's getting more of that, that knockdown power. And uh, so the, the nine, you're kind of giving up some of that. The argument against that is that, you know, the nine has less recoil, so you can get more targets, more shots on target quicker. Um, but I don't know, that one's kind of hard for me because I think it comes down to really what you train on. So anyways, that's that's the con for that one for me. Moving on to the Glock 22, uh, first up on pros is exactly like we said, the, the knockdown power, right? The energy. That thing was, it was developed for the FBI. Um, from my understanding, you know, the FBI started out with the 10 millimeter. It's a little too hot for them, so they kind of backed it off and created this 40. Um, so it's it's got a lot of energy, you know? It's developed intentionally to have that energy. So that's a that's a big pro on the, on the 40. Um, when he said, you know, he wanted it as a concealed carry gun, that's a big thing to take into consideration. Um, another pro is exactly that, you know, it was developed for the FBI. So a lot of people say, you know, if it's good enough for the FBI, it's good enough for me kind of thing. So obviously it's a widely used caliber in law enforcement stuff like that as well. Um, and then the last pro is they do make conversion kits for the Glock 22. I know that they, they make and sell conversion kits to turn your Glock 22 essentially into a Glock 17. I think you swap out the barrel and the magazine and you can have it shoot 9mm. I have no idea uh, you know what costs are or availability or anything like that is on those, but I do know that they make them, so that's an option. Um, but yeah, now going into the, uh, the Glock 22 cons, I think first and foremost is that recoil. You know, it's a, like I said, it's a high energy round, so you're getting a lot of that snappiness. Um, it's, I don't know, I personally don't like shooting it, but uh, you know, if it's something you train on, it's something you get used to, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a con on my list, is the, is the snappy recoil. Next con is uh, price of ammunition. It's just more expensive than 9mm, like I said. 
And then the last con is magazine size. You're getting 15 plus one in the Glock 22, whereas in that 17, you were getting 17 plus one. So a few less rounds, but uh, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is my quick and dirty pros and cons list on the Glock 17 and Glock 22. Let me know what you guys think about them uh, down in the comments below. Obviously, this is an argument that can just go on forever and ever and ever, and a lot of it really does come down to personal preference. Personally, I prefer the Glock 17, but that's just because I'm more comfortable shooting the 9mm. I've trained more on it, and uh, yeah, I'm just more comfortable on it. And that kind of brings me to my last point that I told him in that email, is uh, you know, whatever gun you decide to go with, obviously make sure you're getting out to the range and shooting it you're at home practicing your dry fires practicing drawing from the holster whatever it is because uh you know if you're not comfortable with it and you're not training with it it doesn't matter what caliber it is so anyways there you guys have it thanks so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog uh sorry about the gap in videos for your uh you know the last couple weeks just moving in and stuff moving is a lot more work than people tell you it is <laughs> so yeah i've been a little bit distant but i'm gonna get back on it i promise you that so i'm gonna i'm gonna update the the blog this week update you know all these videos and stuff like that for you guys so Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed these vlogs, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that just, you know, lets me know that you guys are liking them and uh, to make more of them. So thanks again, and we will see you uh, next Sunday on Greenlight Shooting's vlog.